Vi and Tracy, we've heard of 3D printers. They can do very amazing things, and they can do pretty much anything and make any kind of object you could imagine, including 3D printed hair. And for those who need it, it makes all the difference. You just start to pull your hair out. It's more common than you might think from something you probably never heard of. Louise Damiano of Sewell, New Jersey, has trichotillomania. Stress seemed to be the biggest trigger. Anytime there was a stressful time, and, and you do it primarily in isolation, it seems. Pulling her hair out due to stress. It happens subconsciously, and it's destructive. I guess for anyone, but for women especially, if your hair feels somehow like it's not good, you just don't feel very confident and comfortable. The hair you see on Louise now isn't real. She tried other methods the past six years, medication, therapy, wigs. Nothing really worked. Nothing felt permanent. And you're so desperate for a solution, you're almost willing to try anything. Stylist Danielle Marzella was trying to find something better for her patients, too. There are more people than you think that have it because it's a secret. You know, everyone thinks they have to keep it a secret. And we just want to let people know that it's okay. There are other people out there that have it. Danielle introduced Louise to a printed prosthetic. Literally from this measurement, it is an exact re replica of her scalp, her, her head. And then from there, it's actually made. A 2013 study found that trichotillomania affects as much as 4% of the population, with the highest rates in childhood and adolescence. But these hair replacements also benefit burn victims and cancer patients. I wasn't surprised about the technology, but I was surprised about how they were using it. I didn't think that this was possible. Pretty cool stuff. Now, Danielle, you just heard from there, she works at Transitions Hair Solutions in Monmouth County. She says this is the best thing that she's come across in 21 years in the business, and now she travels around the world educating people about it. Now, the main thing is to show people who have this hair pulling disorder that they don't have to be ashamed about it. There is another way that could help. And yes, it is expensive. It can cost about $1,000 or more, depending on what you want. But yes, there is another solution for these. Mm -hmm. 3D printing is really important in uh, Prosthetics for people right. who have lost limbs. So, mm -hmm. pretty amazing technology. And, and whatever the cost is, if it's out there, people will find a way to pay and for it. And it seems so yeah. important to people with that disorder. Absolutely. And she said as soon as she found this, it was a miracle for her.